Yo, what is up people? It is your boy Sneels right here and I hope you guys had a fantastic day today. Okay, so welcome back for some more MK Dons career mode. Of course, in our last video we finished the season on a very good high. Of course, we beat Barcelona in the end. Um, I think it was 3-1, wasn't it? I think. Um, <laughs> I haven't recorded for the last couple of days. Obviously, I've got videos saved up. Um, obviously, by this time, I should still have some saved up for you guys and still continuing this journey uh, of, uh, obviously, like I said, MK Dons. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been doing. Obviously, saving up videos and getting them out as when, I, when, when I can, basically. Um, but yeah, so, you know, obviously, it has been uh, a couple of days since I played uh, FIFA. Um, but yeah, so. Since then, obviously, like I said, Barcelona, all good. Uh, we won that game, so we finished off with just Champions League. Uh, we came, I think it was third, wasn't it, um, in the Premier League. Still good. It's not like it's a, a bad, obviously, position. Some of that, of course, MK Dons. Um, well, it's as simple as that. MK Dons is obviously going to be a good finish for them. Um, obviously, it's been a couple of seasons now that I've been with them. When I say, well, say about four or five seasons I've done now. You know, this must be my fourth. Maybe my fifth actually. They've done quite a good few seasons actually with MK Dons now. Um, and I've enjoyed the journey. Uh, it's been all good and everything. Um, but yeah, so Stratton's obviously transfers, standard stuff. It is July, so it's going to be now transfers. So buying, selling, whatever. It is what it is. So it's going to be a pretty longer video than usual because I do blab on. And obviously, I'd just like to show you what we've done, uh, who was sold, who was bought, and whatever. So yeah, going to go straight on to our first player. So our first player, just to show you is someone called Yannick Wagner. This is a player that I've generally had on my list for quite a while. Um, often 40,000 a week you know, for a 22 year old uh, who's on a, a, a well, it says contract at three years, I think often four years though. Um, but it doesn't really say, but I, I don't know, it's something with FIFA when you give him, like if I gave him a five year, it would be four years instead left, but it's weird how they do it, but anyways. Uh, but it says contract of three years, obviously. Um, he's a guy that I've generally been interested in for quite a while. Um, and we bought him for £28.3 million. Um, probably my reason, reasonable, most expensive uh, sign so far. Um, I say it like that, you'll know why in a bit when I mention someone else, which you probably can see on the screen right there. But we'll get back to him in a bit. Um, but yeah, so this guy, £23.5 million is worth. Um, Seems like a good player to me. I've, I've looked his stats and he's really good. And uh, yeah, just someone I've just generally wanted for quite a while, to be honest. So that was that. And you know, Yannick Wagner seemed like a good player. And yeah, I mean, I could have got him in, was it, was it January? Um, I, I could have sworn I was bidding for him then, or even actually just a bit after that, actually, because, um, uh, well, sorry, because cause I couldn't get him was because my squad, youth squad, if you remember, uh, was quite full and I couldn't. Um, obviously uh, bring him over to my squad that was full as well so both my normal squad and my youth squad was full uh, so I couldn't do anything about it so I couldn't really sign him uh, for some reason it let me you know, bid for him and go through that but couldn't go through a contract uh, because obviously yeah my squad was full so a bit annoying that but either way um, so we finally got him so enough of him on to the next player so the next player we're going to talk about is this guy and you're probably thinking, what the hell? You know, MK Dons, you know, yes, we're doing business, we're going up in the world, and we have bought none other than Neymar Jr. So you're probably thinking, why? Mm. Okay, the obvious question, um, the obvious answer to that question is obviously because he's an awesome player. You know, whether you think he dies so much, you know, just can be an absolute douchebag on the field, you know, probably off at times, but honestly, uh, massive fan of him to be fair, even in real life. Um, I'm actually a huge fan of him, but I admit he's a bit of a twat. <laughs> Let's be honest here, he is a bit of a douchebag on the field. Dies a lot, you know, and whatever. And with the ability and the talent that he has, honestly, this guy generally has so much ability and so much talent there. I don't really understand players like this that you know, want to ruin their career. But Neymar Jr., I thought, why not? As a laugh, why not? Let's just see what. Uh, what we're gonna get out of him, um, and it's Neymar Junior. I mean, on a serious note, who, why would you not want him? You know, all right, he's 32 on this game. Um, obviously, in real life, he's like what 27 now, I think. Uh, but yeah, obviously, it's been a couple of seasons. Like I said, I play a few seasons now, so being 32, not the age I usually buy players, but for as a laugh, why not? You know, I had the money. I've got loads of money to spend. Obviously, I'm not really buying, buying, buying players. So that's how I've managed to have money as well saved up. 
and I'm selling players for extortion, um, extortionate uh, uh, prices, which I'll obviously show you in a bit. Who has gone out of the club as well? So, uh, but yeah, Neymar was on 175,000. I think he was. Um, let's have a look. No, it doesn't say there, uh, but he was. I could have sworn he was on about 170,000. Um, but yeah, he's just gone down to 97,000 a week. Unless, unless he was on 97, he's actually agreed to stay on 97. I'm not too sure. Um, I could have sworn he was on about 170, um, even at that age, and still on that sort of money. Um, but yeah. 97,000, I didn't mind, I know it's 32 years old, why not, like I said, it's Neymar Junior, <laughs> what more do you want, so I thought, why not, let's get him, so that was that, so I spent 52.9 million on quite a bit of money, but like I said, it's for a laugh, and why not, it's just, 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 in general, I thought I'd get him, so that is that, so, um, but on to the next uh, player we'll sign, uh, the third player, um, and third and only player so far, is a 19 year old centre back, Brazilian as well, um, weekly wage of 16,000 a week, um, and obviously I spent 12 million on him. Um, seems like a good centre back. Um, of course I can't show the stats on this page, but uh, he's only worth eight and a half. But bought him for 12 million, um, and yeah, just I had to get him to be fair. Um, and he seems like a good little youngster. I'll probably show you the stats actually in a bit. Um, but yeah, so that is our last player, and uh, yeah, business has done you know, really well, I guess. Okay, so just to go on to more obviously transfer news, you would know about some of these guys that I did actually get. Um, in January, uh, but on a pre-contract, so obviously their contract's running out, and I actually get them for free, simple as that. Um, and as you guys know, obviously we've got this guy, Matthias De Litt, um, if I'm saying it right, Matthias De Litt, um, the 24-year-old centre-back, obviously world, worldwide now known, uh, obviously a brilliant captain for Ajax, uh, one of the youngest captains as well in Champions League history, I could have sworn it was, but um, or, or it's just Ajax for, for that matter, I don't know, um, but yeah. Brilliant player, seems like a good player, obviously in real life that is, um, and obviously on this, seems awesome as well, and that 24, sort of halfway there, in being experienced and, you know, and obviously still young, so I thought why not get him on a free as well, <laughs> you can't really complain with that, um, and obviously, uh, yeah, he's worth 88 million, 88 million pounds is worth, I basically saved myself 88 million pounds, it's crazy, uh, 170,000 a week, which makes him the highest paid player in the squad, uh, believe it or not, um, but funny enough, he's actually just joined, and as you can see there, if you can actually see, yeah, he's a uh, he's a uh, on the um, on the uh, medical bench already. So frustrating, but <laughs> he's had a broken tailbone, 100% fit in three months' time. The funny thing is, right, I've not had many injuries on this career mode. I don't know why. It's really weird. I've not had that many. I've had the odd oh, three days out or something, you know, with a cold or something. Like that it's something ridiculous. Um, but yeah, and this guy comes in and literally just before the game, which is our first game against Burnley, he gets injured. He's out for three months. It's just crazy. So that's why I kind of signed this guy, as I told you, uh, Lodera Arujo, um, 19 year old centre back. Um, yeah, that's kind of why I bought him, uh, just to help out. Even though we've got obviously youngsters here, uh, Maxim Golovin back from his loan, as well as Boris uh, Mazepov. Both Russians, uh, both 19 slash 20 uh, respectively. So yeah, and this guy has potential to be special, but yeah. Um, but yeah, so we honestly, we had to get that extra centre back, so we did. Um, we've also let uh, Schurz go, um, but I won't go more into that actually, because I was going to show you who I've sold and yeah, one of them. <laughs> um, but yeah, so on to anyone else. I don't think there's really, um, obviously Delit, we did bring in, who was it? We bring in, it's a winner. I can't remember his name. Oh, that's it. Hudson the Doy. We got him on a free as well, as you guys probably know. Uh, but he's not injured, so that, that's all good. <laughs> um, but we got him, and that is that. So, yeah, um, seems awesome, honestly. I've bought some you know, good people in. Don't need to keep buying, really, to be fair. Um, but it is what it is. So, yeah, I'm really happy with the signings. Um, and now I'm going to show you who I've sold so far. Okay, so who I've sold so far. So we've sold this guy, um, Dennis Golovin. Uh, young 19 year centre back, you probably don't much, uh, probably not said much about him. Decent stats, he has got some decent stats to be fair, but I had too many players. Honestly, I've got so many youngsters, I thought this guy was the weakest one out of them. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to cash in on him. If he gets better, I might buy him in the future, I don't know. Um, but I got 5.2 million for him, he's worth 4.3, he's on 2,700 pounds at that club now. And yeah, like I said, seems like a decent player, but just I've just got too many people. So, um, but yeah, that was that. Um, the next one, we sold Neres, we sold David Neres, 
uh, to PSG for £60 million. Pounds. Uh, so that, that was a nice coup. That money is basically spent on Neymar, basically. It's basically a, a swap, really. Um, but yeah, and obviously they get someone younger. But um, I just, with Hudson Adoy coming to the club, and then obviously after that, I thought I'll get Neymar, see if he's good. Obviously, he's going to be good, but yeah. And that was that. So I uh, went along with that, and that was it. So there is, obviously, like I said, £60 million he went. Um, Scherz, obviously, as I said, just before I was on the squad bit. I sold him for 55 million to Atletico Madrid, um, and yeah, he's worth 41. So I'm 47 and a half thousand at Atletico now, and yeah, the 24 year old. I would have kept him, but he was the weakest link compared to Martinez. And obviously with Dilip coming, I thought I'd let him go, and obviously let me up the youngsters have more of a chance uh, with him gone. So that was that. Uh, Brendan Roberts, uh, Brendan is it? Yeah, Brandon Roberts. Sorry, uh, sold him for two million. Again, another left winger that I genuinely thought was all right, but I just thought I'd get rid of him. Um, funny enough, his contract is actually expiring in 11 months' time. Has he only signed a one year deal with Standard Liège? Holy crap. I think he has as well. What the hell? I've, I've never actually seen that before, but that's that. So, yeah, I've done that and uh, yeah, pretty happy with that to be fair. And that is the only business somehow. I thought there was more business, but it's the only business I've done so far in terms of buying and selling. So, yeah, you know, I've blabbed on, I know, but like I said, it's July. I always tell you the transfer news, and that's that. So, Straight into our first game, our first game is against Burnley as far as I remember, so if we just go to the front, yeah, Burnley at home in the league, should be three points, hopefully, we just got to pray that we do, and uh, yeah, so hope we get the league off and going, so let's go into it, first game of the season, let's do it. Oh, go on Felix, roll it along, that's it, Hudson Adoy for 1-0, Hudson Adoy. Comes in a free, he gets the first goal of our new season. As I started with Van Bergen, I thought I'd rest uh, Van Bergen for the Super Cup that we have uh, in, the, in the next game. In literally a few days' time. Um, and Felix, well, good little roll there. Uh, would have went for goal on, with Felix himself. But, you know, from a tight angle, he might as well uh, give that to someone else. So, yeah, 1-0. Go on. Yes, it is 2 0. And then Ketia scores his first of the season. Uh, just signed a new contract as, um, with me as well. Um, so, a bigger wage for him. Not much difference, but it's like another 20 grand. But um, a bit quiet on that one. <laughs> it's been a bit of a boring game. Hasn't been so much chances. And we finally get that second goal. It's a good hit actually into the corner. And uh, a bit nerve wracking in some ways because all they've got to do is score one and we're back to 1 1. But. Uh, yeah. Alright, it's 2-0 it uh, and there's probably 3 points in the bag. There you go, 2-0 victory to start off the season for 3 points and we'll see a win in the bag. It's not you know, as resounding but I don't care, I'll take a win and that is it. So yeah, like I said, 2-0, a good start to the season. Okay, so on to our next game after beating Burnley by 2 goals to nil. Uh, so it's a nice comfortable 3 points, uh, exactly what we deserved. Again, wasn't I mean it wasn't a great 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 uh, no, great great game um, in terms of performance wise it just it was a bit slow um, but it was two 0 at the end there's three points in the bats what it is um, but Juventus next as you see here obviously P Piemonte if that's how you say it um, but yeah it is in the final of the Super Cup of course so it's gonna be a tough game and uh, yeah we're against obviously former player Zobosle as well who also left uh, this summer. He went for 91.8 million pounds, and uh, yeah, so hopefully we can uh, get result, get the Super Cup again for the second year running. But we'll see what we can do. So let's go ahead with that. Let's do this. Go on, mate. Davis is so good. Gets it in there. Great ball. What a goal that would have been. <laughs> My God. I had Dybala in my pocket there, he was nowhere, he shouldn't, well, he shouldn't be getting to where he got to. I was concentrating man, getting quiet as anything, I don't know what he did there, but he just got that little bit of space and put it in the corner. They've not really had much, they've had, I think that's probably their fifth chance of the game, it's not been as much as, a, as I have anyways. But yeah, 1-0, and that's it. Completely open right now. Felix, it's 1-1. I thought it was offside. I genuinely thought it was offside. That's why I didn't really you know, go all excited about it. But Felix has equalised for us. 
fully deserved really. Um, it's been a tough game in some ways, but at the start it was all over. We had shots and shots and shots, and then I thought that was offside. I don't know why. I just just thought he was a little bit in front of me, but luckily he wasn't. And it's the first time finesse there into the corner. It's a great finish, and uh, one one. Oh, Felix! Really? <laughs> Darn it, man! All right, so. Um, yeah, it's going to be extra time. So I was waiting to see if they'll say penalties or something, but it is extra time. So it is what it is. It's been a tough game, but at the same time, I feel like we deserve to have won that game really a long time. All right, so that's both the halves of extra time. I probably literally probably showed you nothing. Probably made one chance. We just couldn't score. Simple as that. Onto penalties. Is what it is. Tell me what you got, Neymar. Put it in that corner. That's it. Take your little run. Neymar getting them or something. Come on. It's a good start. Dibala. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> Alright, 1-1. One, one. Okay, we're going to go this way now. Okay, let's just try and get it there. About there. Come on, Felix. Great penalty. Come on. 2-1. Deli Alley. Let's go that way again. It's a great save, yes. Good Deli Alley. Alright, okay, we're going to go back this way. Why not? Come on, Fernandez. Puts it in that corner. Nice one. 3 1. Alright. Any more? Oh, Timo Bernard smashed it over. So if I score this, that is it. It is done. Um, yeah, we're going to go here. So, Sadidek can put it in. He does. And that is it. It's the UA for Super Cup for another season. This time on penalties. We comfortably beat Ajax last year. But this time, we've got to take it all the way to penalties uh, to win the cup. So, yeah. And there you go. Like I said, there's the European Super Cup in the bag. Okay, so on to our next game after a one all draw. Disappointing one all with Juventus. But then, obviously, uh, finish off the game by winning on penalties to get the first trophy of the season for us. Uh, so that was a nice little, little win there to get off and going on this season. Um, of course... We've got our second game of the season against Evan away. Not going to be as easy, uh, but hopefully three points in this. Uh, we sit fourth with the first win, so that's all good. Uh, so I started off right with a 2-0 victory over Burnley. But now against Evan away. Tougher game. See what we can do with this one. <sighs> Jesus. Great save. Um, again, I was trying to concentrate so hard. Some I got past my players. and That's actually Thiago Armado. I just realised that. Thiago Amado, the player that we did have, uh, we sold him though for about 35 million, I think, to Evan. Crazy. Nice. Go on, Felix. Bends it in. Great finish. Good little play for Arnold there. Arnold on the right side. Uh, played quite well with Pomica, wasn't it? Or someone? I can't remember who it was. Um, but done really well. Then done well with Felix as well. Good little ball through and Felix does the rest. Simple as that. His first goal of the season um, in his second game. And it's a good finesse goal. And there you go. I mean, he scored against Juventus, but first Premier League goal. So, 1 0. Good start. Oh, great play. Fantastic. Wow. Right from the back. And Davis is in for 2 0. It's fully deserved. 2 0. It's a great finish. Nice. Uh, can't finish there. Davis don't really score much for me these days. Um, since he joined last year, I think it was last year. It must have been last season. Um, you know, started well, a few goals, and then just sort of dropped off really throughout the season. Got the odd goal here and then, but yeah, it's a great play from the back there. If I showed you all that, brilliant. Um, but yeah, two 0 just before half time. Oh, got a great hand to it from Perez, but. I guess it's a good finish. I mean, I don't know how I actually got it through, to be fair. I thought my defence would have got that. Um, who was it? It was Glovin, weren't it? Yeah, look, he had that space. Just a little through ball. Just a tiny little through ball. It's, it's a great hand to it. It could have went wide, could have hit the post. But unfortunately, you just can't keep it out. 2 1. On Pomical. And he's got Davis there. Felix, yes, 3 1. <laughs> Jesus, how has Davis not scored that? I do not know. 
um, but it's taken a good save and obviously the keeper is a good save to be fair uh, from point blank range anyways and then Felix finishes it with his second goal of the game and of the season so far in the Premier League and there you go 3-1 there you go three points in the bag second win two wins out of two in the Premier League it's a good start to this league hopefully pushing on to the Premier League title if not second at least just, just improving that one or two with uh, more spaces but um, yeah positions whatever but yeah so it's a good start to the season and there you go two now ok so we've got one more game to play um, we've got uh, Southampton right now in the Premier League at home should be three points um, but again they can be still a tough team as you know Southampton being kind of like Bournemouth a bit of a bogey team but three points I'm confident getting at home especially so uh, yeah, hopefully we can do that. Let's get them. Let's get those three points, and let's finish on a high. Oh, Van Bergen! Yes, finally the first goal. Waiting patiently, building it up just before half time. Fully deserve it. Um, well, technically, probably don't actually. None of us really do. Been a bit of a boring game, but it's been all me passing around trying to work my way through. And uh, yeah, Felix does well here. I was going to get tackled there, but good little pass. And, and Bergen beats first goal of the season. 1 0. Oh. Really? It's just. I swear, nearly every single goal I can see is just so pathetic sometimes. Mario Gertz, obviously, a decent player, but how? How's. I don't get how my centre back's not got that. I, I generally don't. How my centre back's not got that, I don't know. And it's 1 1, man. Jesus Christ. Oh. Davis, 2 1. Brilliant play. Honestly, fully deserved that second goal. Good little 1 2s there from like, three or four players there. Just sort of pin, you know, pinballing uh, from one side to the other. I mean, as you see here, look. One, two. Yeah, got to finish that. And uh, second goal for Davis as well. But, um, is it? I think it's the second one, isn't it? It's the second one. I know it's the second of the season, but I can't remember if that's the second today. But I don't know. I can't remember. But either way, it is 2 1. Oh. As I just said, literally two minutes ago, where is this space coming from? It's Gertz again. It's Gertz again. I mean, look, look, there's so many. Wow. I, I don't know. I have no words to this. 2 2, man. Alright, I'm really disappointed with that, but. I've said so many times, and you know I've said it, I've said it even before this game. Southampton, teams like Southampton, Bournemouth, they're just such hoodoo teams. Just for some reason, just somehow seem to get lucky goals. And I'm sorry, but they're lucky. They really are lucky. Um, nothing wrong with the finishing, the finishing is fine. Um, Gert's a decent player as he is, but it's just the way it's, it's just happened, it shouldn't be going, it just shouldn't be, uh, with the amount of space somehow they got. But yeah, 2-2, two, two, and yeah, I just got to accept that. Okay, so I'm going to end that video for you, uh, well, I'm going to end that video there for you guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just going to end it there, um, getting pretty bit tired to be fair. Um, maybe that's why I drew, I don't know, I don't want to say any more excuses, of course it wasn't because uh, of that, but um, yeah, it is what it is, um, we still got the results that we needed, I was just disappointed with the one against Southampton of course, uh, but we do have Everton again next after playing them in the Premier League and beating them 3-1, uh, we do have them at home this time um, in the League Cup, so expect the younger side out in that one um, and try out new players and stuff, so yeah you know not much transfer activity um, but we've got obviously still a few more days with the window open so um, yeah hopefully we can get some deals done whether it be selling or not so yeah that's all I've got to say hope you guys of course enjoyed leave a like of course and a subscribe much appreciated I'll see you guys in the next bit MK Don I always do it why I always do it anyways take care <laughs> and peace